All right, the game. Now it is day number two as far as uh, behavior testing out skill-based matchmaking. They're making some changes, and I'm pretty excited overall to see the results. But I've looked around already for day number two to see what everyone else has been kind of saying. They say today's been a little bit sweatier, so I'm kind of excited to see how much, if there's a placebo effect, you know, all that. Cool. Nice pre-drop. We'll take it. That's going to give me a ton of information. There we go. I don't know if I get here in time. Who's on Jen? She's on Jen up there. I don't really, uh, yeah, I don't want to chase this anymore. I want to break away. Assuming everything's right, we can't really play as relaxed as we were yesterday. For those who don't know, I was playing pretty relaxed yesterday. We were taking off a lot of our slowdown. It definitely felt different. That's fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, big auto pull there. That feels really bad. All right, that's okay. I was pulling left, but got pulled right. I should have backed up and just took the actual swing there. Now, we do have Enduring and Spirit Fury up as well. I'm still going to be running some of these uh, more sluggish builds, so I'm pretty excited. I should be chasing this. No, this is the right way to go, for sure. Hi, how you doing? Thank you. Even better. Alright, let's just go ahead and kick this, and I'm going to break out my power, I think. I just want to get information. Alright, we're fine. We're going to be using Iridescent Bun pretty much to get as much information as possible, and then kind of pulling off from that. It is the game map, so we need to play it pretty slow, look for resource drain, and kind of go from there. There we go. We'll take it. Now let's take a look again. One survivor, not on a gen here. Cool. Yeah, it's on a gen back there. Okay. Let's break out of our power early. And then see if maybe we can catch them off guard. The downside is the fact that that was, uh, you know, not open. Cool. This will work. Okay. Spine chill. I wanted to swing to see if maybe he would drop it, like pre-drop it, because he knows we have enduring. But there it was not there. It seems weird, but we're keeping up the pressure. We're keeping off gens for now. We are in a moment here soon where if we don't get it down, we're going to be in trouble. But I feel okay at the moment. We've got a lot of resources out of the way, and that works for me. Let them know we're swinging. Nice, and that's going to be a double tap here soon. Any kind of dead hard? Yep, there it is. Cool. Let's take that. That's one survivor injured, and let's move over this way now. Even better. We're still playing a lot with the slug strat, so I'm not really too worried about uh, hooks themselves. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I'll take it. And perfect. We got everyone pretty busy. They could look for the uh, pickup here, but that's all right. And we're just going to go ahead and try and get this out of the way if possible. It's all about getting rid of those pallets. Good. That works. Let's see if maybe they're healing up over here real quick. See the blood. She's already upstairs. Makes sense. Okay. It's going to be hard to play around this gen in general, so I might opt to kind of let it go here in a second. Let's see if she drops this. If so, we're going to frenzy over it and kind of play around from there. Thank you. There we go. Again, just keeping up that information. We'll keep the slow down at base level. Okay, cool. And let's see if maybe she pre-drops. Yeah, she's going to pre-drop. 
I uh, should have blocked her in there. That's a huge mistake on my part. I kind of wasn't thinking. I was trying to keep up the actual uh, frenzy. Not too much farther here. Again, we've gotten rid of a lot of pallets, though. It's kind of just the pressure we currently have out, though. Both survivors. Yeah, we're definitely going over here. She needs to pre-drop this. Yeah. Enduring again. There we go. And we get Jolt. Sweet. That's fine if he wants to play this way. We're good at the moment. I just gotta keep up enough pressure here. Oh, dude, I totally missed you. You completely went incognito to me. One survivor here. Let's see if they're injured real quick. Nice. Unfortunate, but no more uh, pallets here. Cool. He needs to mend and pick her up. One survivor is going over there now. I'm going to chase her down instead. See if maybe we can get any more value here. Good. Another pallet out of the way. Alright, she's not injured. We're going to end up letting go of a gen here soon. And we're going to move back over this way. Cool. Go ahead and do this. Tag that. Go for him real quick. There's not much else down here. Good. He has dead hard, but again, what's that going to do for him if there's no more pallets? I'm sure he'll find one. Yeah, there's one right here, right? Nice. I expected him to drop it, to be honest with you. Yeah, like that. Cool. That means we have Spirit Fury for the next one. Hi. And Joel. Everyone's injured. I'm actually okay with picking this up now. I know we're really close to almost one gen, but... Again, I feel okay at the moment, even though we made a pretty big mistake on Jill a while ago. They're still looking to try and heal up. Cool. Again, tag everyone the best we can. And she is injured up there. Cool. We're just going to go ahead and block that off. Nice. There we go. Leave her on the ground as well, and then head back over here. We're still doing a lot with the slug place. I was just something I've been really enjoying lately. So I'm going to keep doing it probably for quite some time. It's a real good way of just kind of being able to put as much into chase as possible and ignoring pretty much everything else, which is great. We want to chase this way so we don't give her access to the rest of the map. Thank you. Watch for any potential dead heart. Hi. Cool. No point hooking. We're only really hooking the Jonah here. We got scratch marks over there. There he is. Ooh, I don't got much here, though. I might need to frenzy stab him in a second. We'll see. There is a boon down there I need to get rid of. Here. That works. Cool. He has dead hard. Okay, and Jolt's going to hit back there. And we're going to chase her for a second. Never mind, we're going to swap it up. They need to go pick up the other survivor. We're fine. Ooh, actually. Even better. Okay. Nice. I Actually, it's not too bad. It's just going to get me out of uh, Frenzy a little sooner. But I can use the cooldown, I guess. Did I hear someone in here? Hi. Thank you. We're going for this save would be very silly. Yeah. Nice. Get everybody injured again. I'll take it. Again, don't care about her. And there we go. Even better. Let's see where this other survivor is real quick. Over here trying to get a heal. Over here. There we go. No, they're, they're just trying to get away from me at this point. They're in trouble. Good. 
yeah, overall still works. Uh, these guys are definitely hugging loops better. If you guys watched the video from yesterday, if not, definitely make sure to. We made a lot of good comparisons as to like what good survivors versus uh, mediocre and bad survivors tend to do. And overall, these guys are definitely hugging loops a lot better. Are they making all the 100% right actions? No, but even at high MMR, that was already a thing, so... Keep my sub DS. I have to be careful here. Okay. Someone just dropped down to pick him up. Nope. I'll take the jolt. Thank you. I hear someone crying up here. Hi. You know, I knew about Dead Hard. But here we are. Yeah, I know. You kind of got rid of all the, you know... The actual pallets pretty crazy uh i'm gonna hook in on the other survivors currently no one there at the moment let's check here again see if this is kind of regressed yet hi oh yeah we're definitely going for her hey to break it to you you are all out of resources try and buy a blocker as much as possible yep that hard the world will never know. Hooking the Yui is kind of pointless at the moment simply because she's so low on her bleed bar that it's better just to use her as bait while we chase the other survivors. Here we go. Someone's going for this save. I just gotta wait out your uh, BT. What? Cool. I still have Enduring and Spirit Fury. We're good. She needs to pre-drop these if she wants to live. Mm, I want to chase her this way. Hold up. It's very important I chase her this way so she doesn't get access to the other pallet. There we go. We swing. That way we can guarantee that, by the way. But I think she still makes it with that hard. Yep. Fair enough. That's fine. We're still removing pallets. We're feeling good. All right. We're good to let her go. Come back over here. We jolts back up again. That's the thing. Because we're pressuring so often, we're getting a tremendous amount of value from Jolt. Hitting multiple gens numerous times. Thank you. And is that the last one? I think that might be the last one. There's one more downstairs, but that's about the extent of it. We'll see if maybe she can play around it. I'm not sure if she can, though. She might pre-drop. I need a swing to hit it. Ooh, I did not realize. That's not good. Okay, shut this down. And then just follow it up. Cool. Jolt goes off one more time. They took the time to heal up, so we definitely have time to hook. Overall, this definitely does feel different than yesterday. Okay, makes sense. Scratch marks were a little faint. I wasn't positive. That's what I like to see. And... She'll pre-drop this so I can't enduring her. Maybe not. Thank you. Alright, cool. The other survivors are over there. I saw it when we get the uh, Feral Frenzy strike on her. Okay. It's a maybe? Hey, there you are. There's my favorite stars member. There we go. Yeah, makes sense. You think they just came right back here? Uh, they did. Cool. And you really don't have much else to go on, huh? Oh, I lied. It's the game map. We have plenty to go on, I guess. 
It's crazy. I thought we were out of pallets like two or three times, man. All right. It's better to chase this survivor. She'll drop down and head back to the uh, gen. Yeah. Hello. Go ahead, hit her, and we'll see if we can find the last survivor really quickly. Yeah, there she is. That makes sense. Ball speed from Bamboozle. There's the dead hard. And there we go. All right, Wretched Shop for game number two. Let's go. Uh, another thing to keep in mind for uh, day two of them testing things out, I do feel like uh, skill-based matchmaking is kind of just in effect here. Like, this is the normal thing that we're used to seeing. Uh, with that being said, though, is that I have, like, the Q times from yesterday are, like, the big difference, you know? Cool. And where'd these guys go? Yeah, I saw them all over here for a second. Try and beeline it here. Let's we'll see if the duration tag helps me get there in time. I had to swing. I couldn't open the locker. I wouldn't have made it. I knew she was going to do it too. It felt bad. Well done. Let's see if she drops this right away. Thank you. Two pallets. Okay. She has some distance. I'm not sure where the other survivor went off to, though. That's the uh, scarier part. Let's see where everyone's at. You gonna drop this right away? No? Feels good. Hey, what's up? The cooldown kind of hurt there, but that's alright. Someone on that gen as well. We can run it back this way. We're fine. She might have dead hard. Thank you. Wow. What a good way of holding it out. Okay. That tire hurts me. All right. Let's just chase it around. I need to get her down so I can spread out pressure. Yeah, it's definitely night and day to me, comparative to the differences from the uh, survivor groups. But, good job. Good job on her part. That was really good. Other survivors right here. We're going to leave her slug. We're still doing the same play style. I'm trying to keep that play style uh, going throughout this whole test, like whenever we do something. That's fine. Has to drop this right away or fake it. Good. There we go. Only one more here. Yeah, nice. Getting rid of a lot of pallets that one survivor's down. We're affecting three survivors right now. I do have Spirit Fury up. Okay. Wait for that dead hard. There it is. She's just doing that so she can get uh, pre-drop it, right? Yeah. Okay. So definitely Swift in my opinion. Ooh, unfortunate. Cool. I'm okay with that. We lost. Uh, we didn't lose too much there. Two gens standard. This is kind of what I'm used to. They come over here to get a little bit of extra pressure going. But again, I just have everybody here. I'll take it. Then click all they want. Snag that as well. If she wants to click. That's fine. I'll go for it. I don't got a problem with it. She has her dead heart back up. Everybody's injured. Dead hard maybe to the vault. Nice. Leave her on the ground for a second. There you are. Cool. Perfect. Good. And then double back. Yep. It's very hard to deal with. There goes that dead hard. Nice. Okay, and we'll pick her up. Now, if they're separate on gens, this could be a little bit more of an issue. You know, we're not really looking to 
camp this area out. We need to go over here. Yeah, so let's approve thyself, I think, on that gen. It's two survivors over there. That's my current thought. That gen's not going too much. I see. Could be unbreakable. Let's definitely test this out here. I'll take it. All right, chase the survivor back down where we have Jolt in a second. All right, fair enough. Good luck. Nice try. We'll get the Jolt value. I'll take it. Let's head back here real quick. Yep. Now give me information where the other survivor is. Perfect. We just have to get over here in time. Good. She's running back over here. I'm totally okay with this. She might dead hard over here. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Get rid of it. Is there any value over here? They might look to reset. It's definitely possible. Where are we going? Are we going to a corner? Okay. That works. Whatever. It doesn't look like they're healing. Nice. We'll take it. All right, cool. Again, we're going to pick her up. They seem like they're playing around it, so I got to be a little careful in what I do. Yeah, right over there. How much is that gen going? It's going pretty good. I don't necessarily think I have to worry about Unbreakable right now. Dead hard? Yeah. There we go. And I have one more survivor right over here. Cool. Yeah, definitely a different... You can definitely see the differences if you look at, it like, yesterday's video. For sure. This strat, honestly, is just a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver to my fun, too. Like, that's one thing. It's, like, the skill-based matchmaking and the worst part about it is simply, like, your builds can get a little stale. But with this, I'm able to play just total chase efficiency, and I just love it. Yeah, we leave some more slugs and stuff, and survivors might not like it, but... When skill-based metric is in fact, when you start going against some of these better survivors, this always throws them for a loop. Like, they just, it completely shocks them that you're not hooking as much. They're used to down hook, down hook, down hook, which allows them to go from pallet to pallet, pre-drop it, and, you know, play really, really safe. This is going to punish them playing very safe. Really, really fun, though. I mean, I'm still happy again. I'm more happy now. Even in the higher skill-based matchmaking with the uh, the builds and the playstyle that I currently have. But let me know how your second day with uh, skill-based matchmaking tests went. And uh, much love. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.